Welcome back everybody. So the Halloween event is officially kicked off and to be honest with you, I am liking it a lot. Something new, something fresh. Uh, these Gen 3 ghosts look pretty neat. They evolved them uh, just for fun. I'm just gonna look for good IV ones and then power them up of course. And I finally did it. I finally found the Entei that I'm going to power up. You know how I've been saying only if I get a 95% and with 15 in attack? Well, I did. It's a beautiful thing. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm just doing this Jolteon raid. Did you see the time it started me in? My friend went in. We were there together. He went in. He was attacking it. And it didn't let me go in for about 25 seconds or so. That was pretty crazy. Uh, anyways, nonetheless, we, we go in here. We take it out. It was just for fun. We weren't specifically looking for anything. It was at the mall. We were just, you know, doing the raid. Uh, and then after this, I get something pretty neat from my incense. I had one going. I thought it would be over by the time I was done, but I, I guess I wasn't paying attention to the time. But uh, my friend, did you see his glowing thing there? That's pretty funny. All right, so yes, this event is pretty nice. There, uh, don't forget there is special boxes in the shop. Go give those a look. Some of them are okay, depending on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to just get candies for the Pokemon that are out right now, box one will probably be your best bet. But if you're trying to go for experience, um, and all that other stuff you might want to go with the third box so right out of the raid a, sh a Pikachu with a witch hat I haven't caught one yet so that is pretty nice I was like oh, okay cool haven't got one of these yet so uh, I'll catch that and then right after that is when I get the little surprise here and uh, I also am going to be throwing in some gym battles here in about a few hours so keep an eye out for those with the new gen 3 ghosts and to tell you uh, give you a little bit of what's to come sableye is actually very good i go up against the snorlax and I, me and my friend were taking the gym out but um other than the snorlax because i know it's not very effective with shadow claw it was doing work it's going to take a few quite a few hits and there you have it the hound dune right from the incense not bad uh, the IVs weren't great or anything, but I mean, a 1400, pretty cool. Uh, I should have pineapped it, but then I was thinking, I don't need the candies, really. <laughs> I'm doing good on those, so I was going to save it for something else. Because if I do find a shiny with good IVs, granted it has good IVs, hopefully, then I will definitely be maxing out that. Uh, Bayonet is the one, my number one priority right now, so I'm going for double candies, pineapps on all of those. And then Sableye will be next. Uh, Duskull, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll look at that later, but there's no rush on that. I do want to get candies for it, but it has another evolution. It has three or two evolutions, the basic and then stage one, stage two. Uh, stage two is coming in Gen 4. And then I go on to catch a few of these Shuppets, just collecting some candy uh, and looking for good IV ones. So, Okay, so let's jump right into this Entei raid. Pretty good. It was very nice. We showed up and I was telling my friend, because I was still with him at this point, uh, I don't know if we can do this because we're going to have to get a group. I think people are out, you know, excited for the event. They're not going to really be over here. But hey, what do you know? We showed up and there was a group there. They were like, told us, jump in. There are people I knew. And so we jumped in and bingo, bango. Very nice. And wow, what good timing it was. Because to be honest with you, I wasn't into the Entei raids anymore. I keep getting not too good IV ones, and I'm just thinking to myself, you know, uh, I'm done chasing the Entei, uh, and that was about it. And with them disappearing pretty soon, I probably would have done about probably three more. Depends. If we had a raid party and there was a bunch close by, I probably would have went for them. But other than that, I'm not really chasing them or anything. I'm not looking for them on the any sort of map or anything to see where they're spawning. Uh, so... Uh, it's pretty nice that it worked out this way. So now I can just lay it to rest and not have to worry about it anymore. And we'll take a look at those IVs here towards the end. And then we'll go ahead and look at the Entei itself. Uh, as for when I'm going to be uploading the uh, Max Entei video, um, I'm not too sure at this point. It was nice getting back up to 2 million, 200 plus thousand. And now it's going to go. But as long as I stay above that 2 million threshold I should be good but then again I was also thinking what about the Snorlax should I power up an Entei or a Snorlax because I can drop Snorlax in a gym but I cannot drop an Entei in a gym and currently 
what do I really need it for? There's no raid bosses that call for it. I mean, I can use anything else to take out an exec executor. And there's no level 3 raids that need, you know, that are weak to fire. So I'm just thinking to myself, ah, you know, I don't really need it because I have a Max Moltres and all Flareon and Charizard. But uh, this is a 1922. And I was like, oh man, I, I've been wanting to max out all the dogs except for Suiku. And yes, did you see that throw? I, I was spinning it and just like, whoop, right off to the side. All right, got an excellent there. And let's see, we have one, two, three. Bingo. You know what's weird? I wasn't even really paying attention to that. I didn't know I had got an excellent throw on that. Huh. Interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at its IVs and go see what we have here. Okay, check it out. I forgot to cover this in the last video. The Mimikyu hat, as you probably already know, is here. Check out my avatar with Bayonet, looking good. All right, so yes, if you have, if you don't know how this works, you just go to hats and there it is right there. And that's pretty much the only thing they've added as far as clothing items. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that Entei. All right, so it is 15 attack, 15 attack, 15 defense, and I think 12 or 13 uh, stamina. The IVs will be up on the side here. So simply amazing, attack, defense. Wow, that means those are both 15. All right, take care. It's not gigantic or it's not tiny it's just normal pretty neat so this is going to get maxed out at one point don't expect it anytime soon but expect it one day <laughs> all right because as it stands there is literally no point to have an, a max intake i mean i know i have pokemon that i've maxed out that there's no point to have maybe uh, but at the, i have plenty of fire already that's a lot of stardust down the drain at the moment it's not necessarily down the drain it's a 95 percent it's a cool and all that it is a legendary but i have to kind of be wise because with gen 3 coming down uh, i guess somebody can say well you could you'll get more stardust by then yeah definitely for sure all right anyway so this is it pretty neat finally <laughs> after almost a month i've got one that has decent ivs and just for the record i've literally haven't seen one 100 legendary yet and uh also <laughs> One more thing I need to clear up here earlier, too, when I was recording, I went down here and I was like, ooh, I have five entries, but I don't see them all. Well, the other one's right up here, Sableye. <laughs> all right, so uh, if the sprite will load, come on, come on, buddy, you can do it. All right, guess not. So, yeah, Sableye is really nice, and I, I can't wait to max one of these out if I ever find uh, a decent IV one. I'm sure I will. I'm wondering if we can hatch these. Probably not, but we'll just have to wait and see. I have my eggs stacked up. Let's see here. I just got back. All right, yeah, I need to pick up a few more. I've hatched a Cubone, and it was out of a 2K from today. So uh, I think those are coming out. Could just be a coincidence. I think it was a 2K or 5K. Oh, I'm not too sure. But this is what I've caught. I've transferred quite a bit of the new Pokemon already. Because there's no need to stack them up like crazy. We have this for two weeks. Uh, will they stay? I'm not too sure. They'll probably go away and then come back. Or maybe stay. That'd be cool. Come back at night or something. Alright. So, And if you didn't see it in my other video. When I caught the Gengar at the raid. 14 all around. So close to a 100. That's alright. Still good. And my third Mewtwo is right here. Alright. And it's simply amazing. But it's not simply amazing. Defense. Wow. Yeah, it's not like, it's 84%, so, uh, it's Mewtwo, you know what I mean? But is it power-up worthy? Oof, I don't know, I don't really, I don't know if I would want to do that. Because what if I get another EX pass and I can go get another Mewtwo and it ends up being like a 95% or a 93 or 92 or 91, you know, like, you, you get the picture, better than this one. So, nonetheless, still cool, I have three here. Alrighty, and I caught it. So on to my third Mewtwo. This is probably going to be traded, trading material whenever that comes out. And uh, maybe for like, who knows, a Mew. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty, so with that said, 
thank you for watching. Mimi Q hat looking really cool. I, I like it and interesting. Let's talk about this really quick too. Um, a few commenters have told me this. I was thinking this as well, not to take away the credit or anything, <laughs> but uh, I have a feeling they're throwing in this Mimi Q hat to get people hyped up or talking about the future of Pokemon Go uh, and things like that because it seems very odd to throw in a Gen 7 the last generation at this point by the time they reach Gen 7 they'll probably have Gen 8 you know what I mean in Pokemon already maybe Gen 8 maybe Gen 9 at this rate um, no offense Niantic <laughs> but uh, yeah you see what I'm saying get people talking about oh you know Pokemon Go is, has Mimikyu and the word Mimikyu it doesn't he doesn't go with Gen 2, Gen 3, or anything like that. People are like, well, Gen 7? And they hop on. Maybe it'll get him back into the game for a little while. Make Nag take a couple bucks. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that said, I hope everybody is safe out there. Stay warm. My goodness, it's starting to get so cold here in Alaska. Like, e, very chilly. So I'm going to have to be doing most of my Pokemon going in my car. Like I usually have, but yep. Take care, everybody, and I'll catch y'all later with that gym battle with the ghosts.